Let's see how this works. Oh, what? Move my mic. <laughs> Okay. Looks like we're actually live. Hi. Hi. I'm Nick. I'm Jill. And we're, and we're hipstrings. hipstrings. Welcome to our uh, special live bat sale. Um, and some other stuff. And some other stuff? Yeah. So is this is this a podcast? Or is this a sale? Or is this both? It's everything. It's everything you ever wanted it to be. Yes. Okay. So we can start off with a quick like check in. What's your, you know, what's getting you through your stay at home order? Well, I, I'm I'm actually going into work. <laughs> <laughs> Life is not that much different for you. Life is not that much different for me. I work uh, in my my day job. I work at a research uh, facility, which is exempt from uh, the stay at home order for businesses. So I'm I'm still going in. It's at a reduced schedule because we want to. Um, reduce the the amount that people are interacting with each other. So they've kind of split the the staff in half, and half of them are coming in early, and then working part from home, and half of them are coming in late, working part from home. Uh, but other than that, everything's um, pretty pretty much the same. Um, how about you? How are you keeping sane? Uh, I took a week off from almost a week off from hip strings because um, I was kind of hoping we were in this whole. Um, essential businesses still get to operate as normal, um, and mail order was still essential, and so I was hoping I could still continue my normal routine, but then we got the stay-at-home order, and then I decided it probably wasn't a good idea to be going into the studio every couple of days and dragging three kids with me. Yeah. So in a rush, we brought hip strings as much as possible home, <laughs> and uh, I've been kind of trying to figure out and wrap my head around how that works so the shops are back online i took them down for the week Ooh. um and we will be making it work so thanks for your patience in advance um but to start off i wanted to do something special and that's why we're doing this live stream and we'll uh start everything off with the live bat sale but that will be at the end so first we're going to talk about first, our just typical you, stuff yeah. let people come in uh, who's saying that Jill is actually keeping sane? Asks Dave. Um, that that would uh, that would imply that she was sane at one point in time. <laughs> um, uh-huh. So knitting wise, what's keeping me less insane? Let's put it that way. Um, I uh, oddly enough have been focusing more on work because things got ridiculous, but I've still been able to work on some things. Uh, You've made progress. So I've made some progress on my night shift. Um, you can see it here. This is the um, to to remind everybody. Um, this is where we started doing the uh, the uh, twelve days uh, base twelve spin along, base twelve, and uh, turning that into a night shift. And originally, I had started it and then stopped it. That's why mine is so much more pitifully small than than Jill's. Um, so you can see that uh, there's a big difference that she is using the uh, mill spun gray as the main base with the contrasting color of the hand spun. I'm using the hand spun as the main base with the contrasting color of the gray. So um, that was thanks to viewer voting and uh, helping so to one, convince two, me that, yes, I should do what I wanted four, to do. Five, six. So I'm on my eighth color. I'm on my third. So I'm two thirds of the way through. I am not. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, that's that's basically all the spinning I've, or all the knitting I've been able to do. On the bright side, it's actually a really nice project because now I'm having many more conference calls, and because people can't see what I'm doing, I can knit at work, and it makes conference calls so much better. <laughs> so I've been working a couple other things. Um, one major project is I am making my own, and I probably should have brought the magazine down. Uh, let me untangle this. Um, so this is my own uh, diamonds cowl. So this is from the prep issue of Ply. This is a design by Tannis Gray, and I was actually commissioned to create the original hand spun for the original design that's in the um, in the magazine. Uh, 
but I decided I wanted to have my own sample for my booth. I was hoping to show it off at uh, Flyaway, but that's not happening. <laughs> uh, so I'm going forward with it. Um, so I got to replicate my own yarn. Um, it's amazing. It looks just like... It the... looks just like in the <laughs> magazine, guys. Um, or it will when it's like washed and blocked and all that and stuff. And finished, you know. Yeah. But it's a really beautiful pattern. It's a wonderful combination of colors. Um, I, I might I might end up doing it uh, yeah. later. Gab well. wants one in blue and purple. Cool. She's made a request. Nice. And then if you've been following me on Instagram, I've been doing Instagram lives just to get myself through dressing my loom. So I'm warping um, a sh our Shack Standard 4 harness loom with a 8-4 cotton warp at 12 ends per inch for bath sheets. Um, so I'm doing front to back, so I've slayed the reed, um, and now I'm threading. And, and I've uh, got like 38 more inches to go. You, you, you were quite happy when you slayed the reed. Yeah. You, you came in to, I believe I, I may have been doing dishes at the time and you, you came in. You don't always and you... get to come in and say, Hey, I slayed. Yeah. Jill, Jill is, uh. They're looking for her for her murder because she slayed that reed real good. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm pulling up notes. Okay. For the next thing I want to talk about, so. So so I should I should stall. Fill some time. Stall 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 stall. stall. Okay. Um, wow. Uh, so. Yeah, You're not I'm, doing a very good I'm job. I'm doing a terrible job of stalling. I normally have something to talk about. Um, I, I have not made any progress at all on the Pokemon hat, which I am rather ashamed of. Um, I'm uh, Obviously, things uh, have... have uh, oh, one thing that things we did do... Things have gone do, sideways? Things have gone sideways. One thing we did do, and I didn't uh, grab them, but we started um, uh, making masks for the kids out of uh, yeah. scraps. Um it's uh, it's not something you know. Obviously, there, there's a lot of back and forth about uh, the value of masks. Uh, no, we're not knitting masks. That that definitely has zero value. Um, but in terms of, uh, we found an interesting uh, paper that talks about, you know, the the basic concept that something is better than nothing. Um, and there was actually a study on woven cotton and even knit cotton and how that uh, how effective that is at blocking uh, viruses and bacteria. Um, as compared to, you know, N95 masks. So obviously N95 masks are the best. Yes. But um, if, uh, if you are not a doctor and if you are not um, caring for someone who is clearly ill or if you are not ill yourself, um, it is a good way to... Um, make sure you don't touch your face. Add, yeah, it helps you make sure you don't touch your face, but it's also a good way to add another layer of protection. Um, don't get complacent. But, okay, good. Now I'm done with stuff. <laughs> so, um, I've been hinting on social media a little bit that, and I this got hit me two days ago or something. I need a project for this time. Um, and I want people to come along with me because that will make me actually stick to it. <laughs> um, so, I'm announcing another spin-along. I'm calling it this the Great Mashup Spin-Along. Um... And so this is kind of going to also be educational because it's going to walk you through my process when I'm planning a, a spinning project for a larger project. Uh, so we're going to go through all the steps I do. Um, there is fiber associated with this. If you so choose, you can also go stash diving. Um, and I think that's the important one of the big important parts of this, right? If if you are tight on budget now, if you can't get fiber friend anywhere, um, obviously we have some fiber kits we're going to sell. But if you want to just go into your stash and you 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 have something big and fluffy you love, but you don't really quite know what you're going to make with it in the end, this is for you. This okay. is exactly the the project for you. So the plan is you're going to spin up at least eight ounces of fiber. Um, because this is what makes you break out of the normal, spin four ounces, make a skein. Um, and I'm going to have kits. They're online already. Uh, if you search on the website, Great Mashup, Spin Along, or SAL, you'll find them. And so there's kits that are, they're mystery bags of eight ounces of fiber. 
there are four different options. There's loose fiber, which is if you want to blend or card the fiber yourself. Um, hand dyed comb top, signature blends, and or if you really want, I'll make you hand carded bats. Um, I am, you can give me color suggestions, but ultimately the final color is choices are going to be up to me. Um, and they're being sold in eight ounce quantities. So if you want to just spin something for like, oh, a large shawl or something, you can just do eight ounces. If you want to do a sweater, you might need a pound or a pound and a half or two pounds. So you can, you know, I always stash up in eight ounces. So that's based on that. Um, and so to go along with this, I'm going to do a series of other YouTube live streams. Um, and so the first one will be this Sunday and we'll be covering fiber selection. Um, they'll be at 9 p.m. Eastern, just like tonight. Um, so we're going to go over fiber selection, what you want to think about. Then we're going to go into color theory, fiber preparation, yarn structure, creating consistent yarn, plying and finishing, characterizing your yarn, and then picking a pattern. And because they're going to be on YouTube Live, it's also going to be on the channel afterwards. So, so if, you can always catch up yeah. with whatever. It's just easiest for me to do a live stream and just save it to YouTube. Um, and this is going to be spread until basically the end of April. Because to realistically do a project like this, most people are going to need at least this much time. So if you're interested... Um, you can check out the details at hipstrings.com. I put up a blog post. It's The details are also in the product listing for the great mashup. Um, and you can join me on Sunday night and we'll get this thing started. So basically it's going to be ignore the colors. But how do you take a bag of fiber like this? So these are a variety of things from my staff that I already pre-picked and turn it into like a sweater quantity of yarn like this but not you know it's not going to magically turn from pink and purple to blue um, <laughs> but this is a yarn that was kind of this mashup it wasn't all one colorway that I all ordered at one time so Lenora um, is uh, saying damn you're planning to be home for a while <laughs> <sighs> I think I think part of the uh, maybe, but there's also the aspect of um, if uh, everything goes back to normal, um, you know, you this, can continue. You can continue, right? <laughs> um, it is it is a celebration of your fiber, right? And um, that that's part of the reason why it also is going to be going for so long is that maybe it's I'm not... just expecting to have more free time <laughs> <laughs> over that, that period of time. I don't yeah. have show prep to do. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, and yeah, no, that's that. That I gotta makes find it easier something for to us. keep me, myself entertained. That makes it easier for us to do videos and things like that. So. Yeah. All right. So. Anything else? So that's the introduction for the great mashup spin along. Good. I hope you'll join me. It'll be lots of fun. Um, you might learn something. And at the very least, it should give you a little bit more confidence to use your fiber stash. Because um, that's what I do with my stash. Um, so do we want to get to the live bat sale? Eek, eek. Yeah. Um, and uh, incidentally, it is just completely a coincidence that we're all these are bats with two T's. Yeah, that uh, that we're doing a bat sale, and and this whole thing may have started from a bat or a pangolin. Um, it's not quite clear. Anyways, um, so we gotta we gotta tell them how this is gonna work. Right? Okay. So if you go to hipstrings.com, and on the left side there's like menus and on the top one is you may be interested in there's a link to live bat sale and if you click on that link it brings you to a listing there are no pictures because that's not how this works <laughs> um, but there are options for 27 bats and they have a price we're going to go and give you a sneak peek of each bat and talk a little bit about fiber content for each of the bats there are 27 of the 27 of them tonight um and if you see one that you like then you should probably grab it yeah so you buy it through the website right buy it through the website buy at hipstrings.com 
Okay, that's how this is going to work. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see any photos. You're just going to have to coordinate with the number. You you say that the tags have numbers. The tags have numbers. They're really tiny. I'm going to see no, if I can make I, bigger. We will clearly announce the number before we show off each bat. Yeah, but what if somebody comes in in the middle? We will announce at each bat. Okay, never mind. You, 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 you do your thing, I'll do mine. Okay. Nick's going to display. I'm going to Vanna White this stuff. Um, so, uh, these are basically what I've had in my studio, but I only bring them to shows, and since there aren't shows for a while, um, and I have, I brought all the fluff home and the drum carter, I'm hoping to make more bats. Um, so we're going to start. You're going to start with number one? I'm going to start with number oh, one. Oh, that's boring. It's also more logical, and it will not confuse people. But what if somebody really likes number 23 and they're waiting for Okay, this is a four ounce bat. This would be easier if we could see what we're doing. Oh, okay, we can, we can see what we're doing. It is very much like the Home Shopping Network. I wanted to call it the Home Fiber Network, but Jill didn't, didn't agree. Okay. Um, number one. This is a four ounce bat. The majority of it is Rambo Yay. Am I taking this out? Uh, you can gently. They're kind of a pain to get back in. Okay, so. well. Do your best. You can describe. Superwash Targi, uh, viscose from rose, silk, merino, and mohair. So what do you want me to do to describe? Do I say, ooh, it's soft? I mean... <laughs> or, like, <laughs> it's mostly brown Done. with black and pops of hot pink. There's a video. They can see this. Okay. Uh, it, it does have um, this sort of tweety nature to it as well, um, and the, the pops of uh, hot pink have a um, like a, a iridescent flavor to them as well. So I'm going to put it right up front here. Again, this is number one. All right, did you put the tag back in there? Yeah, I put the tag back in there. All right. So these are kind of grouped by color. Um, so if you want more than four ounces, or a lot of them are two ounce bats. Um, if you want more, you know, once I start transitioning to a certain color that you like, there might be something right after it that would go with it. So this is another one. Okay, you can pop these out like halfway. Ah, there we go. So you can see a little bit of the Have side. A little bit more. <laughs> this is also the same fiber content as the last bat. It is Rambouillet, Superwash Targi, Rose, Silk, Merino, and Mohair. That is number two. Okay, I don't even write yeah. that down. All right, I'm making it more complicated people for People have ears. Well, now you're just discriminating against all the deaf people. Okay. Although but I do believe YouTube, YouTube has, auto... has auto captioning, so. So hopefully I'm they just understand. Making a jerk of myself. And we are doing these in order. Do you want to put that back, or, or yeah. you want me to? Um, and there was a question of, wait, how do I buy? Not through the YouTube channel, but through uh, some of our direct messages. Um, again, as a reminder, you go to the Hipstrings website on the uh, things you might be interested in. and um, It says live bat sale. Yeah. And Click on that link. It'll take you to a product listing that has a pull-down menu that has listings of each number along with the price. Um, the two ounce bats are all $12. All the four ounce bats are $24 just to make my life easier. <laughs> I'm going to guess that this is a two ounce bat. This is a two ounce bat. Okay. This there is a 2.1 ounce bat with Rambouillet, Superwash Targi, Merino, Border Leicester, Fleece, Silk, and Viscose. That was number three. That was number three. Um, and I will say, if anybody wants a repeat of a number at some point in time, you can let us know. Um, I don't know if we're going to keep them in proper order to be able to easily find them, but... I'm going to try. Okay. That'll make my life easier later. This one's in a clear bag, so it'll be easier. This is also a two-ounce bat. It is Rambouillet, Superwash Targi. Rose, border lice, yay, border leister, silk, and merino. I feel like I should squish them to show how soft yeah. they are. Yeah, all of these Rambouillet and Superwash Targi ones are super fluffy. Yeah. 
That was bat number four. I was almost thinking about bringing down like shots for us to take when everybody made a purchase. Yeah. But I thought that might end badly with how many bats I was trying to sell. We could also have tiny shots. We have our hipstring shot glass. Which is a huge shot glass. Well, we, we share it? I don't know. <laughs> okay, this is bat... No, this is the wrong number. <laughs> you just did, did four. four right? Yeah, yeah. There's five. There's five. What is this one? It's that one. Eight. Oh my gosh. Bat number five. You really messed that up. Gobble it is also here. in a clear bag. This is a 2.1 ounce bat. It is Rambouillet, Super Wash Targi, Silk, BFL, which is BFL Locks, and Merino. So the locks have all um, sort of. They're in the middle. Are they in the middle? Yeah. This okay. one I'll let you open up. Oh, I, yeah, I feel so honored. So, see. Locks. But it's a fairly uniform bat. Clear bag ones you can open up a little bit. Okay, I see six. I see six. I see six. This is a lot of crinkling. I hope it is not too loud, uh, as Dave is implying. Is this six? Yes, this is six. All right. Do you want me to read this? Yeah, you can read okay. it. Okay. Uh, this is uh, one point six ounces. Ah, it's falling out, so I'm going to just take it out. Uh, Rambo Ye, uh, Superwash Targi. Rose, Border Leicester, and Silk. What number is that? This is number six. I just said it and I can't even remember. I have eight in my lap. Oh, you have eight in your lap. That's right. Eight. Yes. You're a fairly uniform bat, apparently. <laughs> according to Stephanie. back yes all right so we are now on to seven. Oh, that's right we're reading these things yeah uh fiber content matters to some people this is 2.2 ounces rambouillet superwash targi rose silk and bfl and you can see this night nice pop of white along the side nice stripe of Deep purple. Smoke on the water. Okay, sorry. Are you going to sing for... No, no, no. no. You're doing this all wrong. Well, don't let me do it then. <laughs> there we go. I will learn eventually. I'm, I'm almost sure nobody would get my deep purple reference there. Maybe. Okay. Now we're on to number eight. And let us know if we're going too fast. For you guys i mean there's a lot of them here uh but i do know we are it's been what since i was like i maybe watched the home shopping network when i was sick and like 12 maybe 12 or something yeah, yeah so I, I don't quite remember exactly how that was working um right you gonna go back to reading yes so I can this play is Vanna? a two ounce bath it is rambouillet super wash targi silk border leicester and marina it has some beautiful pops of bright blue in the middle of all of this. All right, so then what do I do? I do this. And then roll. I roll it like that? Yeah. Okay. Hey, I'm learning. So you fold them in thirds and then you roll. The Ocho. Where's that? That's like LA, is they call it the Ocho. Right? It's also, you know, Spanish for eight. Yes, but there's the channel that is famously <laughs> known as the Ocho, I think. Are you just making stuff up now? No! <laughs> I swear to God. Maybe. Uh, this is a 1.6 ounce bat. I lied. There is one bat that is $11, and that's this one. It's Rambouillet, Superwash Targi, Rose, Silk, Merino, and BFL. Oh, I'm putting this in front of your face. Nobody wants to see me. Everybody wants to see the fiber. Just like this. Do I fold it up or roll it up now again? Yes. All right. You are watching my learning process. That's what it's from. It was from Dodgeball. See, I wasn't completely making oh, it gosh. up. Oh, gosh. 
We are down one crate. That is the first crate, guys. And it's the one that's hiding behind you, so now everybody's at least had some level of preview. Those were all the secrets. You okay. Those last. The next two match. They have the same they exact match. fiber so content. 10 and 11 match. 10 and 11. They're both two ounce bats. So we'll just show off one of them. They are 50% Romney from Fleece. 25% Shetland, 20% Bamboo, and 5% Mulberry Silk. So this is actually a blend of Romney Fleece with my signature blend, Warhol. So this would blend very well with Warhol. I put that in the wrong, didn't I? Yeah. I put it in the wrong way. I put it in the ugly way out. Yeah. There we go. You gotta learn these things. I will learn it by the end. When it doesn't matter. So that's anymore. number 10 and number 11. Start pulling a couple at a time. Not have things fall on our heads. Fiber bets are falling on our heads. Ah! And we lost the card number. Alright. I'm going. Are you gonna get that one? I'm going for it. Nick's going under. There's so many wrong things that could be said right now. There we go. Can you put it in that one? Yeah. Okay. So that was what? ten and eleven. Ten and eleven were the matching Romney Bamboo Shetland Mulberry Silk Warhol bats. Okay. Okay. Now we got twelve. Does twelve have a have a partner? Uh, no. Twelve is unique. Twelve is a four ounce. These bet. are all twelve through fifteen are all coordinating bats. Coordinating, not matching. Coordinating, not matching. Okay. This one is super fluffy. It is super fluffy. I'm gonna regret taking it out. So this is merino, border leister, mohair, yak, and silk. And it is a four ounce bat. That is why it's so fluffy. And take my time here. <laughs> take my good old time. Don't lose the tag. And thank you, Lenora, for adding the commentary on the numbers. That's very helpful, actually. Wish I would have thought of that. 13. This is a two ounce bat. See, they're not so bad to get back in. Rambouillet, nice Superwash Targi, Rose, Silk, Lox, Yak, Superfine Merino, and Merino. <laughs> yeah, this is just making me want to like steal them all and just core spin them for the rest of the lockdown. Yeah, so you guys have to save Jill from herself. There you go. So okay. for anybody who's just joining us... That was 13. Yes. The bats are for sale on the website. There's a link on the main page in the left side menu for live bat sale, and they have them for sale by number. Yeah. So I'm please guessing, check out there. I'm guessing you can go backwards in the video. Uh, that is streaming now, or at the very least, once we're done with the video, you'll be able to uh, pick it back up. And anything that is not sold, you'll be able to yes. buy then. So number 14. This is a two ounce bat. It is Rambouillet, Merino, Superwash Targi, Rose, Silk, Yak, and Borea Leicester. That is bat number 14. So fluffy. I want to die. Okay. Now, on to number 15. This is the last of the coordinating bats from that set, right? Yes. Okay. That are going to fall on our heads. Okay. So, number... What did I say? 15. 15 is 
Colworth, Romney, Tessa Silk, and Flex. And the next four are all the same. We're not on there yet. Oh, not? No, this is the switch to the Polworth, Romney, Tessa Flex. The oh, next wait. four are all the same fiber content. Okay, including this one. Including that one. Even though the colors coordinate with the previous yes. one. Yes. So that just means you have to buy them all. It'd make a lovely sweater. <laughs> you can do the like really soft yakky bits for your neck and then transition to the Polworth for the body. We need I, tiara. I do you need a tiara? I mean, maybe, do you need the tiara or do I? Mm, well, you are playing the role of Anna White. I am playing the role of Anna. I and don't... that is a four ounce bat. Oh, yes. Thank you. I'll wear the ball gown. Nick can wear the tiara. That's fair. It'll be practice for my birthday party. Did, wait. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? There we go. It's super fluffy. It is. You can tell how fluffy it is by how difficult it is for me to get it back in. Okay, you can do the... No, 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 no. I'm just in the line. trying to make sure it's going to I'm going to make sure they don't fall go. on you. They'll fall on me. They'll fall on me. All right. So that was 15. We're on to 16. 16 is Polworth, Romney, Tussa Silk, and Flax again. And... This one is like the sky above Pittsburgh. Yeah, so they are. So all the four ounce bats are actually two bats together that coordinate. Oh, uh, and yeah. they are layered on top hey, of look each at that. other. Ooh. I don't know. Because <laughs> when making fluffy bats, my drum carter is really comfortable with two ounces and not much more. <laughs> yeah, so that you were was four ounce. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I can be taught. Next is number 17. It is a two ounce bat of Holworth, Romney, Tussa Silk, and Flax. Ooh, this one's got but some this one pops of green. But this one has a little pops of some sorry silk in it and a little bit of mulberry in it. I turn it around too because I see that it has some good contrast gray on the other side. So that's a little oh, bit more. What percentage flax? So in this one is a 5% flax. So, um, one of the things I really like... You aren't like, really going to notice the flax in this. Yeah, one of the things I really like about the blends that Jill has made with flax is that it is uh, enough to give the final yarn a good uh, strength, but you don't notice it while spinning. In fact, um, the first time I ever spun flax, I didn't even know I was spinning flax. Jill just handed me uh, some fiber I, and said, yeah, I say, here, spin this. Some polar tuss of flax. And I was like, okay. This is really nice. I like this a lot. It's fluffy and it makes a strong yarn. She's like, yeah, it's got flax. <laughs> and at the time I had no clue what that meant. And I was like, okay, that's cool. And then every time we run into somebody at a festival, they're like, oh, I hate spinning flax. It's so hard. Do I have hard. to get my fingers wet? Yeah. No, no. no. Um, you don't have to worry about any of that. It's just, um, it, it spins wonderfully. So here's another four ounce bat. And this is actually two separate bats right now. But you'll see they're basically the same thing. Um, You're gonna layer, layer them now? Yeah. There you go. That's how they fit in the lunch And bag This one again is and should we go with the full percentages? Um sure. 50 so percent all of these Polworth Romney Tussa Silk Flax bats are all the same percentages. Fifty so. percent Polworth, uh twenty five percent Romney, twenty percent Tussa Silk, and five percent flax. Look how fluffy. Need to do that so much better. I have practice. Okay. All right. That is crate two. Crate number two is completed. Maybe we can do this in an orderly fashion. No. What are you talking about? So wait, what number was that last one? That was 18. 18. Okay, that makes sense. That's why this one is written 108, no, 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 989. So 19 with a scratched out 8 there. I was doing things in a rush. 
We should both wear ball gowns. Sorry. Can you just do the top hat and the whole Dickens thing? I guess I could, but um, then I wouldn't get to wear a ball gown. You're not getting into my ball gowns. We'll see about that. Uh, <laughs> so, this, uh, this one's number 19. Um, super fine merino yak and mulberry silk, which is why it is so small. Yeah. This is a 2.5 Oh, this is ounce. beautiful. Um, to that, someone who was saying that a bat was shiny before, this is super shiny. And this is, this is really cool because on the one side, it's got these, um, these pops of, of, uh, like a duck egg green. But then on the other side, it's got these, um, this, uh, nice. Light gray. Light gray with a, a pop of, uh, bright green, like acid green. So, yeah, I can wear my kilt, but you wouldn't see that I'm wearing my kilt. I could tell you I'm wearing my kilt right now, and, and you would not be able to, to tell me I'm a liar. Other than the fact that I'd tell you I'm a liar. <laughs> there Do you, you hear go. that apparently clothing stores are selling more tops than bottoms now? Ah! <laughs> I did have several conference calls today before I put pants on. Um, <laughs> okay, this is another two ounce bat. It is Rambouillet, Superwash Targi, Rose, Merino, Silk, Yak, and Border Leicester. And this has the nice uh, shiny iridescence without all the drastic contrasting colors. So if you want something a little bit more uh, continuous in color, this one is for you. That I need to Dickens. And can I wear the ball gown? I'm cool with yeah, that. I don't, I don't do men's wear though. Yeah. Well. Alright, that was number 20. We're on to 21. This one can legally drink. Although, too bad we're out of our own drinks. Are you out of your drink? I might have a little bit more. Dip it in yours. No, okay. Um, number 21. Uh, Again, uh, a Rambouillet, Superwish Targi, Merino, Silk, and Viscose. Two ounce bat. Yes, thank you. Two ounce bat. Spread that out a bit. There we go. Some beautiful pops of that duck egg green along with the bright sea blue. Lake blue. I don't know. Mm-hmm. You're the better with the, the color describing words. Mediterranean. Ooh, it's see. See, you just came in with one word and my my word vomit was completely erased. That's the name of the of the supplier gives it. See, you're not supposed to give away those secrets, you're just supposed to show your superiority to me and like, <laughs> let it leave it there. Let it be done. Ah Okay. Not your okay. time yet. Alright. Now are coming up some really fun textured bats. Oh. All right. Oh, did I say the ounce of that last one? It was, it was two, two ounce. ounce. Okay. So we are on to number 22. So if you love acid green. I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever heard anybody say, I love acid green. Classy in the front. Party in the back. <laughs> Are you saying it's the, the mullet of your... Uh, <laughs> it's the mullet of bats. <laughs> the mullet of your bats. We are not selling this one very well. Uh, I would love this one. If nobody else loves it, I will love it. It is beautiful. And it's got... Wait, let's, let's it's talk, got locks. Let's talk about the, the texturing from the locks, right? So the the, the party in the front. <laughs> party um, in the back. Okay. Party in the back. You can see the, the, the curly locks are, are sort of popping out there. And so... Um, there's a lot of nice crimp to this as well. And so this is Rambouillet, Superwash Targi, oh, yes. Rose, Merino, Yak, Silk, BFL, and Polworth. Sam does love the acid green. She does. Yeah. Um, I do like acid green. But I don't know that Sam likes bats. Well, they do give you coronavirus. So. <sighs> no, wait. It's pangolins. Um, all right. <laughs> Number 23. Um, 
This one is Rambouillet, Superwash Targi, Rose, Merino, BFL, Yak, and Silk. And uh, again, another mullet of a, of a bat. You've got a uh, party in the, in the back, business up front. Um, oh, that's the phrasing. What? Yes. Business up front, party in the back is the, yeah. the phrasing. Yeah. yeah, I got it all wrong. Yeah, it's okay. It's your business. It's your party. I like this party. This is cool. This does have acid green, not quite as much, but it's... Um, uh, it's very springy. Uh, one thing that I don't know if you can see very well is it does have some little pops of like red and stuff in as well. Yeah, so it really... It has sorry silk in it. It has a very much a feeling of... Um, uh, uh, what's the... Tweetiness. People so, eat pangolins. They are an endangered species at a status symbol. It's a rich person thing. Yeah. We'll just leave that there. <laughs> Think what you will on that one. Um, that's for a non streaming conversation there. Uh, what, what, that was two ounces, right? That was two ounces. I did not. I all of these are two ounces. All of these till are the end. Ounces. Till the end. You saw all the four ounces. No more four ounces for you. Okay. This one is Rambouillet. This Super one has Targi. sparkle. Ooh, it is sparkly. You got to move it around a lot so people see the sparkle. Um, Superwash Targi, BFL, Mohair, Silk, Rose, and Polworth. So you can see a little bit of the sparkles. It's um, gold sparkles. Oh, let's see. Is there uh, a new name of the base for those textured bats? You should just call them mullets. Um, usually when I make bats, I usually describe how many, if they're smooth or textured in the listings. Um, and that depends on how many times they've been through the carter. Um, textured bats are usually just carded once. Smooth bats are carded twice. Um, so I usually do list that in uh, listings, just not for live bat sale. But these these are definitely all textured bats. Oh, yes. Uh, number. This one's number 24. And the previous one was number 23. Um, yeah, the sparkle... I don't know. Could you guys see the sparkle? It has like, gold sparkle Right at the it. end, you can see here, there's, there you can see a little bit of the sparkle. Okay. That is number 24. And as a reminder, if you wish to purchase any of these, uh, you need to go to hipstrings.com. And on the left-hand side, there is a link to live bat sale under you may be interested in. Click on that. And there's a drop-down menu that lists the number of each bat. There's no pictures. Uh, you'll just have to rely on your memory or your notes. Um, and you can just click on the number of the bat that you want to purchase and add that to your cart. So it's a great way for us to force views on this video. <laughs> <laughs> you should put... I, I included a link. There you go. Smart. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So on to bat 25. Another two ounce bat. Should we go back to the first couple of bats and remove them and show them off? We can. Yeah. If people are interested. If people want. There's only a slight amount of sparkle in this one. It might be left over from the previous it, one. Probably true. Okay. Uh, this is Brambouillet, Superwash Targi, Rose, BFL, Silk, Merino, and Yak. There's your party. There's your business. This one, again, has little pops of red and a very deep blue. Um, it's from the Sorry Silk, right? Yep. Actually, there's, there's a good um, like chunk of the, the coloring that you get from the Sorry Silk. Yeah, Dave, that's what I'm saying. We're forcing extra views on the video so that you can uh, you can actually see what we do. It's, okay. it's almost like we planned that. Two more to go, guys. And these might be some of my favorites. Because they are my favorite color. This is a two-ounce bat. Ooh. like that. <sighs> Merino, Polworth, Silk, Yak, and Flax. So uh, when I when when this came out, this uh, I don't know if it's coming out very well in the video color wise, but there's this beautiful like sea green blue with mm -hmm. this bright stripe of like orange going through it. Um, yeah, it was really pretty. Accents of bright acid green silk. 
yeah, this works really well. As opposed to all the others. No, it, it, it's... <laughs> the others suck. This one's nice. You asked for that one. Yeah, I know. Okay. And, and the very the last, last bat. I saved you the best for last. This is another two ounce merino, polworth, silk, flax, and yak. If you like mallard from the base 12 spin along. If you like mallard from the base 12 spin along. This is basically the inspiration for that color. Was this bat. All right, you, you can't just lay it down on the table. You gotta hold it up together. So this is a smooth bat. It's been twice carded, but bright acid green silk with deep blue greens, navy, Very shiny. Mediterranean, all of that. See, if you keep repeating that, it doesn't it doesn't have its effect. <laughs> uh, two ounces, again, two for this ounces. one. Two ounces. And this, again, is number 27, the last one. Uh, so do we want to pull out the first couple so people see Do them. we have any requests? Does anybody need a second look at one? We'll, we'll wait a couple of seconds while people say... Well, uh, I, I finished my drink. I finished your drink. I finished my drink a while ago. And I can go make another one. Um, you know, we could also uh, pull out the boxes. That one's like just jammed that, in there. I know, it's perfect. Wow. I'm afraid I'm going to pull out the wall and if I pull on it. Gentle. Um, yeah. Do you this want stuff on to remind it, people so. what the first set was? Yeah. Let's pull out the first set since you're blocking it. I will try to get out of the way. Uh, there we go. Okay. You okay? Yeah. You felt like you're about to fall. Uh, so okay. this, these are bats one through uh, nine. There we go. So this is going from brown with pink to dusty pink. All right, Lenora is making a request. Top box, bottom row, second from the right. Would that be that one? This one? Um, okay, I don't know. Well, pull out both of these, and let's let's see what they... Because I don't know which right. Everything gets spin around. Uh, and then 19, 20, 21, I'll start pulling those out. While you look at the top box, the bottom row, second from the right. And Number I will 12? Find I think this is what Lenora was asking for. This was a four ounce bat. So there's two bats here. So there's going to be some texture, but not big lumps of texture because it does have locks in it. And then number six was requested by Jennifer. So number six, as a reminder, this is a 1.6 ounce for $12. Rambouillet, Superwash Targi, Rose, Border Leicester, and Silk. So. And it has a little bit of a gradient from brown to dusty rose in it. And then there was the request for 19, 20, and 21. I believe those are the... That's 17. Okay, was it not yet? That would have been... These I actually kept in order. Yeah. There we go. In case people want to... I got these well. We're doing that. This is 19. So this is light gray on one side, blue green on the other. With a stripe of acid green through the middle? Yeah, with duck egg and acid green silk. Maybe we should try to keep them side by side or something. Yeah. I can flip these. There you go. Well, I was going to say pulling them out. Okay. 
hold them out and show them side by side. Yeah, I just don't want to get the cards mixed up. So this is 20. And 21. So they're very similar. Um, 21 has a little bit more of the, the dark blue than 20 does. Yeah, this um, has a little bit more blue-green in it. 19 has a little bit of that acid green. 21 is blue-green. 20 is blue. And 19 has the a little bit more green silk and the light green. All right, what else can we uh, show you all? There you go. We are more than happy to hang out and chat, and Jill has done uh, an AMA type of thing before, so if you've got any questions or comments or thoughts, I'll put this back here. You can slide back over. Hello. They do want to see you, too. They can see me. <laughs> there we go. Um... Yeah, I will say uh, thank you all for joining us on uh, Friday at the Hipstrings Shopping Channel. Um, <laughs> yeah. We, uh, this is, this is fun. It's a little easier to plan for a Friday night because none of you have anywhere to go. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> all right, number 13. There's a request to review number 13. 13. Which one I believe was over there? I remember being a bad luck one. No, that's 10 11. Is that 13? See, if I kept them all in order, that's 16. Mm -hmm. Who's this one's card? Uh, is that magic number 13? This is 13. Okay. Number 13. Do you want to read it out again, Jill? Yes. This is Rainbow Superwash, Targi, Rose, Silk, Lox, Yak, Superfine Merino, and Merino. So it is mostly blue with a slight blue-green and some brown in it. If I remember correctly, the brown is Yak. It's really pretty. It's all. Although I will say the one bad thing about doing this is now um, I've been handling all these and there's, I think I've got some fiber in my eye. <laughs> it does happen sometimes at the studio and everything um, that uh, little, little bits of fiber get in my eye and yeah. I wouldn't say it hurts, it's just uncomfortable. You're very welcome. Uh, let's see. No, I've got like fiber in my nose. I'm not supposed to touch my face. Can I touch your face? <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to touch other people's faces either. Pick your friend, you pick your nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose. Yes. You can't even pick your nose now. No. No. Yeah. All right. This is this is degenerating yeah. so, quite a bit. So, do you guys have any questions <laughs> so that you can keep us on track? There is no track. <laughs> the train has derailed. <laughs> it's Friday night at 10 o'clock. I'm drinking melted ice, otherwise known as water. <laughs> Yeah, um, well, if, uh, if there are no other questions, do, do we want to pull out any of the uh, early numbers to, to look at, the one or two or three, Maybe as well? We did, some did people, we? yes. Yeah, some individual ones, but, okay. Anyway. Um, people have been making purchases, so. Oh, good. You can start taking out the ones that people have purchased. Yeah. So almost all of crate one is, is still available except number nine. Oh, number nine. Let me see if I can find number nine. Tangents are fun. <laughs> I prefer cotangents though. What about, what's your feeling about cosines? 
I'm, I've got opposite opinions over their decency. <laughs> oh, God. Yes. Okay. Number nine has been removed. All right. What else am I taking out? 11 and 12. 11 and 12. That would be, oh, the match set got split right? up, I think. Right. Yeah, that's 11. 11. 11 has sold to a wonderful home. Uh, 12. Just 12. Just 12. This one. Okay. 12 is out of there. 15. 15. Which is this one. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that one wants to go. That one really wants to go home with someone. I'm going to jam this one over here. What's the next one? 24. 24 is sold. 25. 25. 26 and 27. That entire row. All right. Looky, you guys. I've got like they two can't, crates. They can't looky. It's uh, no, they can looky. I'm down to like two crates of bats, guys. You know what that means? What I'm going to do this week? What? Make a crate of bats. Make more bats? Yeah. Well, there's one lone one. All right. So these are the ones that are left. Um, when, when do we call it? Do we call it a 10? Just say we'll... Yeah. We'll, 10's a good number. Witty banter until... Um, witty banter until for the next four minutes. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. You're stuck with us. You know, they can just, you know, sign off. They could. But then they'd But miss, then they wouldn't be complete then they'd completionists. Then they miss the completionist, true. They'd also miss the witty banter. We have the wittiest. The wittiest. Did oh. we get 24? I think no, we, yeah, we, 20. we, 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 we oh, 24. Oh, 22. 22 just sold. This is exciting. It's look, look. Cool there to see. There is now finally a complete bat. Do we want to... Gently remove this guy so that it... watch your head. Whoa. Okay. Can you put this over and there? And 21 is gone. Okay. Can you put this down over there? Yeah. Cool. And then I can... hopefully this crate is exactly the same size as the other one was. Cool. That would be good. Now you can see me again. Haha. <laughs> Stay on until they're all sold. That's like. We might uh... be here a while. Yeah, well, that's that's very little faith in your own qualities there. You said twenty one was sold, yep. right? Twenty one sold. Yes. Okay. Are there achievements for staying through the video? Um, you get uh, you, you you'll get a dad joke. <laughs> Although, I might uh, now I'm blanking throw on goodies. All the dad I've jokes. been throwing extra goodies into packages since all this happened. Um. If you spend $100, I throw in soap. <laughs> Gav's not, making soap. Not just any soap. Not just any soap. It's not like I'm throwing in like a barb dove or something. Or ivory. <laughs> we do have Irish Spring. A, yes. A bunch of that for Gav's soap yeah. carving. But no, no. Gav's been making designer glycerin soaps. Um, and I bought a... I made a bulk order of soaps from her to include in large orders. For people i've also got some hand lotion that i've been making and i'm gonna be throwing that in uh so you it's never really know nice. what i might throw in at this time so thank you for continuing to support me at this time yeah so the um the little soap tins are actually really useful because um originally i was of the the opinion of like hey you know uh you never know when you're going to go into a, a bathroom or someplace and they, they don't have soap anymore, especially now that everybody's washing their hands a lot more. Um, but uh, then I was reading, um, I think it was Alton Brown uh, did his video yeah, on hand and washing. Yeah, he has, he carries around his soap in a metal he, tin. And his opinion is you never know what they actually put in those soap containers. Which, weird story. Uh, when I was in middle school, they evacuated because uh, some kid had put mercury in the soap dispenser. So, not to scare you guys into buying bats so you get soap from us, but... 
Uh, yes, the soap is not for sale. You have to make a purchase in order to get the soap. <laughs> Actually, no. Hopefully, there. If Gab can keep up with demand, there will be soap at future shows. But yeah, yeah. Um, they're nice soaps. She's, yeah, we need to get her more supplies. She only has one mold right now, so she can just make one bar of soap yeah. at a time. And I can't convince her to try other higher productivity ways of making soap. Yeah, like like making a loaf, a loaf, and then cutting, and then cutting it. Yeah. it. She she's vehemently opposed to cutting soap. Yeah, well, because then she doesn't know how it'll all be the same weight. I'll be three D printing her some uh, some molds, so that'll be nice. Um, do you want to see if there's been any other orders? And it's ten o'clock, so so we will uh, we'll finish off with uh, pulling the the last couple of orders. Number nineteen. Did we pull that one? I don't think we pulled nineteen yet. Uh, which one is nineteen? That's nineteen. All right, you you are you're very well mapping. I have email and six and thirteen. Was nineteen? Do you remember six? And... Oh God, no! All of these are completely out of order. There's seven. Thirteen is down there somewhere. Yeah, this is thirteen. Thank you guys so so much. And this is six. Yeah, this is six. Number six. So let me know if Number thirteen. Um, there's any colors of bats or or anything you're looking for. Um, I really do have a huge stash of random bits of fiber that I will be turning into bats while I'm stuck at home. Yeah, and that's one of the things that we, uh, we, we brought home from the studio is the, the that carter. That was the first thing to come out home yeah. from the studio was the carter and all the bat making supplies. Where's the card for this one? Uh-oh. We might have to rewatch our own video. <laughs> Gotta be in here somewhere. Yeah, it's in a clear bag. Right, we'll figure <laughs> out which one this is. Um, it will. It will find its proper we'll figure home. Figure it out. Thank you very much for joining Thank us, you guys everyone. So much. Um, and yeah, join me on Sunday at 9 p.m. and we'll start talking about um, making good fiber choices. Now that you've already made some excellent good, fiber choices, really good fiber choices. All right. Have a great day, everyone. Good night. Bye bye.